Friendly Neighborhood Surveyor. What's an angle? What's an azimuth? What's a bearing? I'm going to show you. All right, let's talk about angles, azimuths, and bearings. So an angle, um, let's do this little diagram here. An angle is just, um, it's just a numerical value. Um, unless it's assigned to something, it just, um, just just use it as as a as a um type of measurement so let's say uh, so this square or um shape here has uh four four sides so you know that the um that the interior angles should equal 360 degrees so your angles here they have no um relationship to north or a bearing or anything like that it's just it's just a number it's just a number um that's used as a measurement but when we turn that angle into an azimuth um it it's its bearing starts at north so a 90 degree angle let's say this was 90 degrees right here a 90 degree angle here is just 90 degrees a 90 degree azimuth is Start or it starts from north, so it'd be here at the east line, and that would be your 90 degree azimuth. So this line here, this was north, this line here would be 90. A 180 degree azimuth would be a south line, and then so on and so forth. So an azimuth can be anywhere from zero to 360 degrees or 300. 359 degrees, 59 minutes, 59 seconds, and um, but it's all based off north. So an azimuth, um, back in the um, back in the day, we would um, on a, you know if, if if we had a bunch of control points around the job site, we would have a lath with a with an az with with azimuths on it for back siding um, a, a variety of um, of uh, control points. So let's say our, our uh, control point that we set up on is right here, and we had an azimuth of 60 degrees, um, you know, let's just say 60 degrees. Well, you know that the other control point would be over here. If we were to do a check um, with an azimuth of um, 179 degrees, then you know the other control point's over here based on this point. Now, if we were to set up here and you had an azimuth of, uh, of uh, 45 degrees, then it would be out this way. If it was 180, it'd be down this way. So, again, um, an azimuth is an angle, but it's based off north and can, um, can go all the way around that, uh, that uh, circle. A bearing, bearings are used um, so, uh, for, for our calculations. And a lot of the programs are set up to where um, bearings are, are, are used as opposed to azimuths. So a bearing is no more than 90 degrees. And it goes either from north to east, north to west, or south to east, south to west. It'll always be a southeast or a southwest bearing or a northeast, northwest bearing. It'll never be an east-north bearing or an east-south bearing. And that is because, if you remember, back in school, we had your XY line where, um, so if we were to use a, a bearing in the, in the calculation, let's say have a, if, you're, if you're traversing, um, if you're heading north, the bearing's positive. If, if the distance is going east, the distance is a positive. If the bearing is south, the bearing's a negative. If the bearing is west, or if the yeah, if the bearing is west, then the distance is negative. So um, if you traverse on your on your data collector or what have you, you'll normally if if you enter the bearings, um, you will enter them in a positive positive or negative positive. So anything that's north again is a positive with the bearing. Anything east. In the distance is a positive. So if you're traversing, that bearing would be put in as a positive, or a northeast bearing would be put in as a positive. Distance positive. 
southeast bearing. Um, bearing would put, be put in as a negative, distance as a positive because you're still going east, and so on and so forth. So southwest, two negatives. Northwest, bearing positive, distance negative. That's all set from this point right here. And if you think about this right here, um, think about where or like this shape, let's say this was a piece of property or a boundary or whatever, and this line was due north. Um, so as you move, then your bearing changes, but it changes in that in that direction. So if this was due north, this would be a, a zero, um, zero degree northeast bearing. And then you, an azimuth of 60 degrees, or a or a um, um, a 60 60 degree 40 minute zero second turn here now it changes that bearing into a north 60 40 zero zero east bearing and since you're still in that northeast quadrant that could be the same as that azimuth so the azimuth would, would would be here and then if we were to turn down this way head down this direction. Um, for the sake of argument, we'll just say this is our, our north line, north-south line. So this would be a south, now we're going south, a south zero east bearing. And so 180 would be the azimuth, but zeros would be the bearing. And, you know, without getting too complicated, that's what the difference is. So... An angle is just a, it's just a numerical measurement. An azimuth is based off north, and it can go 360 degrees around. It has nothing to do with the quadrants. It's just from the center, facing north, or due north, and then the angle right. So clockwise. A bearing is either a northeast, southeast, northwest, or southwest angle based off the south line oh, there we go south line or the north line it never goes east to north or west to north or west to south so i hope that helps um it's just uh simplistic um math there but uh if you have any questions or um any ideas on a, another little video let me know but as you start looking at plans and everything you're going to see you know, you're going to see angles, of course, when it comes to like deltas and uh, and curves and uh, uh, curb returns. You're going to, you really won't see azimuths too much unless um, you come across some old um, old uh, control points or if you guys still turn angles and backsight with azimuths. You're going to see them there. And um, you will see bearings on every type of, um, every type of plan. So bearings are are probably uh, the more prominent um, uh, thing that you're going to see out of out of out of these three. So that's it. Let me know what you think.